I do know who that is. What's up YouTube, the name is Tadi. A few days ago, I caught a cold, which I flipped the script on and turned into a good thing. Since I was sick, I realized I would have a few days just sitting at home with nothing much to do. So I thought to myself, why not retake the PNPT exam since I have enough time on my hands? Yeah, so I rebooked the exam and tried again. Day one was just me trying everything I tried last time just to make sure I hadn't messed up the syntax for a tool or something like that. At the end of the day, that had not worked out, so I felt kind of discouraged and I decided to go back to my emails. Going back to my emails was because if you failed the PNPT exam, right? The certification team from TCM Security will ask you to submit a report, well, a summary of your findings so that they can give you a hint based on where you're at with the exam. They really want you to pass, not just to keep taking your money like other certification boards do. So going back to my email was me trying to read the hint again, just in case I had misinterpreted it. And I actually had, I, I had, but this wasn't my fault though. When I read it about the sixth time, that's when I noticed that the grammar was incorrect. Something was off. They had missed a comma. I'm not too sure if this was intentional or not, but because of this, the sentence had a completely different meaning. So I went back to the environment and tried a couple of other things based on that. <laughs> and one thing worked and I was, I was so happy. I was so happy. But in my head, I'm thinking about this email. I'm like, if you had put that comma, I would have finished yesterday. That sort of thinking was definitely coming from a place of privilege because this is an exam and you're not supposed to get a hint anyway. So if anything, I'm more grateful than I am mad about the missed comma. I really don't understand how I hadn't thought about it because it's something I've done before a couple of times, many times actually. So maybe it was the pressure from the fact that I was taking an exam and it didn't cross my mind, but um, kind of disappointed that I hadn't noticed it the first time. Yeah. Anyways, I continued moving around in the network and I was able to compromise the domain controller a few hours into the second day. Okay, that's just the backstory. What most of you would probably want to know is how to prepare for the exam. TCM security makes it pretty clear that their certification path is the way to go and it prepares you enough for the exam. And I would like to agree, but only to a certain extent, maybe 90% or 80, let's leave it at 80. The reason I'm saying I agree to a certain extent is because passing this exam really depends on you as an individual, on the way you think. You may not be able to grasp this whole pen test slash hacker mentality just from the courses that TCM offers to prepare you for this exam. So you might need a bit more practice and help from other resources. You never really know what's gonna help you develop that intuition. So, and so you may need as much practice as possible. And I'm trying to emphasize the point that I really think that your intuition or the way you think really does play a big part in the exam. Cause I have a bit of CTF experience from like actual CTFs or hack the box and try hack me and stuff like that and I failed the first time, but there's a bunch of people who don't have that experience, who took the exam after taking the courses TCM offers and they passed. So depending on where you're at in your journey, you may benefit from external resources and at the same time, you might not. So what I suggest is buy the training that comes with a certification. And then if you feel like you're not ready, that's not enough. You can use the following resources to prepare you more for the exam. The first thing I recommend is going through the wreath network on try hacking. There's a lot to learn from this room. I did it myself. It's literally a gem and it's free. The second thing I recommend is the lab built by Brandon from the channel Conda. This was really helpful for me because in the walkthrough he has for the lab, he talks about mindset quite a bit. He talks about how to switch from active directory type attacks and misconfigurations to local privilege escalation and CVE type attacks. That lab really taught me how to think about pivoting as you try to determine where to go next when you're inside a network based on where you might be already. If this isn't enough for you, you can go through the hollow network and throwback network from TriHackMe as well. At this point, I think you'll be ready to tackle the PNPT, to be honest. If you fail the exam, don't be discouraged. You'll actually be surprised to see how supportive the community is about such things. I personally got a ton of positive feedback when I 
posted that I've failed the first attempt of the exam and that has encouraged me to continue to try push to get the certification. One thing I'd also like to emphasize is the fact that I've probably learned a lot more, not probably, I have learned a lot more from failing the first time than having had passed the first time, which I guess then was a good thing. If you aren't up to speed with some of the things and the thoughts I had after failing the first time, you can watch this video. But if you are, you can watch how I'm preparing for the OSCP in this video. Apart from that, that is it for me. Stay out of trouble. Don't get hacked. Until next time, peace.